new Descendants four cast are ready to bring their best to the franchise, and there's lots of things that you might find shocking about them. One of the lead characters of Descendants four is Kylie Cantrell, and she's always dreamed about the day that she would become a Disney princess, and she's more than happy to see her dreams come true. As a child, the actress was obsessed with princesses and even named herself Jasmine, one of the Disney characters that will also feature in Descendants 4. In the film, Kylie will be portraying Red, the daughter of the villain the Queen of Hearts. Red is very rebellious and takes delight in always upsetting her mother. In Descendants 4, Red will have to form a bond with Chloe to stop a coup from happening at Auradon. Kylie got her breakout role as Gabby Duran in Gabby Duran and the Unsittables before Disney cancelled the show. Also, Kylie is a very talented singer who's released some songs of her own and uses her TikTok to take on song challenges, which is one of the main reasons why she's a top pick for Red in Descendants 4, since the film involves a lot of singing. Malia Baker will play Chloe, the daughter of Cinderella, who has everything in her life perfectly in place, just like her mother and her father, Prince Charming. However, the bond with Red, she would have to do things that she's never done before, and she will go against her mother's teachings. Malia had a prominent role in playing Marianne Spire in Netflix's The Babysitter's Club. According to Malia, she was inspired by her dad, who works in the film industry, and she wanted to experience the fun on set for herself. Aside from her dad, Malia looks up to Zendaya, Will Smith, and other successful actors. Before getting cast in The Babysitter's Club, Malia had already read the books and had been a fan of the series, which helped her audition. And before even auditioning, Malia was already living a part of her life as Marianne Spire by keeping journals as Marianne and doing things the character loves to do. It was a hack that helped Malia quickly get into character, and she likely prepared for Chloe in the same way before filming for Descendants 4 started. Despite being new to Descendants, Brandy Norwood is familiar with Disney's world, as she's again stepping into her Cinderella role. Brandy first played Cinderella in the 1997 Cinderella film, and her character is the definition of perfection despite having an evil stepmother set out to frustrate her life. Cinderella broke many records as it brought a change with diversity from the usual familiar faces of fairy tale princesses. The film was a big success, as about 60 million people saw it on its night of release, and it was a big inspiration for young girls who didn't expect a Disney princess to look like them. However, Brandy herself has had many incredible and crazy experiences as an actress, although many people only know her better as a musician. Brandy started her career by acting in the series We Are Family, and she continued to feature in a few shows after that. Although Brandy was interested in acting, she did even better at music, as she started singing with her father in the choir when she was just two. In 1994, Brandy released her first album, which made it into the Billboard Top 200, and so Brandy became a big name because of her excellent vocals and numerous hits. As a famous person, Brandy had some crazy moments too, as she once lied about getting married to Robert Smith. In 2002, Brandy became pregnant with her daughter, and she said that she had to cover up the shame of having a baby outside of wedlock by claiming to be married. Also, Brandy thought having a child illegitimately like that could ruin her career, but she later admitted to lying about it on Oprah's Where Are They Now in 2004. Another big name in Descendants 4 is Rita Ora, and she'll be playing Red's mother, the evil Queen of Hearts. The British music artist is familiar with the film industry, as she featured in a minor role in Fifty Shades of Grey, and considered becoming a full-on actress before her major breakout in singing. Rita Ora's family name is Sahachu, but Rita got a new last name, so people could find it easier to pronounce her name. Her family came from Kosovo to the UK during a crazy wartime, and they barely managed to escape as not everyone could do at the time. So, to survive in the UK, many things had to change, including the name, which was just perfect for show business. Despite making a big name for herself in the entertainment scene, Rita Ora was accused of being a copycat of Rihanna. Rihanna said, Rita isn't as original as she copies her music style and fashion sense. On so many occasions, pictures show Rita dressing exactly like Rihanna, which doesn't look okay to Rihanna. After Rihanna accused Rita of all of this, Rita went out of her way to get cast in Fast and Furious six, even though Rihanna wanted to be in it. This back and forth rift continued for a long time as they kept ignoring each other at events, even though they had the same circle of friends in the entertainment scene. Paolo Montalban will also reprise his role as King Charming from the 1997 Cinderella in Descendants 4, where he'll get to play the love interest to Cinderella and father to Chloe. King Charming is an easygoing character who's kind and loyal. Paolo became popular after
after playing the Prince Charming in the role of 1997, and later got a lead role in the TV show Mortal Kombat. Interestingly, Paolo's role in Cinderella raised many questions, even though he nailed the role. In the film, Paolo, of Asian origin, is portrayed as a son to Whoopi Goldberg, an African-American mother, and Victor Garber, a Caucasian father. However, in his defense, Paolo said the family line was possible because the genetic involvement in the maths was love and not race, which Disney tried to establish in the movie. Dara Renee is another new cast member for Descendants 4, and she'll be playing Ulyana, an aunt to Uma, the returning cast member China Anne McLean. Ulyana is Ursula's younger sister, which means that she's in the same category as other villains and will be portrayed as a teen attending Merlin Academy. So, in the school, Ulyana would be this wicked sea witch with eight tentacles. Many students will tremble at her sight and she will have allies who are just as evil as she is. Dara started her acting career with Disney's Freaky Friday in 2018, and she's gone from that to feature in many other Disney films. She also made a recurring appearance on Blackish. Dara became well known after playing Courtney in High School Musical, the musical, the series. The actress also performed as Elsa in Frozen music called Let It Go, which was the highlight of her career. You can already bet that Merlin Academy would be very fun as many Disney villains and heroes would get a teen version of themselves explored. While Olyana is a mean and annoying girl in the school, she will also have an annoying group who would support her bad decisions and wicked acts, and one of them is Hook, who Joshua Colley will play. Joshua has had an exciting career ever since he was 12 years old, as he was cast alongside Gaten Matarasso to play Gavroche in Les Mis. The actor also voiced Robinson, the pig in Peter Rabbit. He's more experienced with acting in Broadway musicals, as he's also very good at singing. While Brandy will be playing the older and more mature Cinderella, Morgan Dudley will be playing the younger version, who attended Merlin Academy and wasn't so perfect. Unlike the older version, who's kinder and gentler, the younger Cinderella is blunt and realistic in her life approach. Morgan is still very much new to the acting space, as her first movie was The Prom, which was released in 2020. She also featured on Broadway in 2021 in The Jagged Little Pill Show. The Queen of Hearts might be evil and not likeable, but her younger version is very much sweeter, which will be portrayed by Ruby Rose Turner in Descendants 4. The young Bridget, or Queen of Hearts, had her early days filled with love as she was very outgoing and lovely, until she became close-minded and irritated with everything else. Rose is a multi-talented dancer, singer, actress, and who would love to focus on acting as she grows older. She made a name for herself very early at seven years of age, as she got a role on a Spanish TV series called Sabado Gigante. The actress is highly competitive and has won various awards over the years. Rose has continued to feature on many shows and even Disney original productions. And as a young actress who broke out early, she's working with Disney to give talented young people a chance to explore their gifts. Descendants 4 is coming with so much more than viewers can handle, as there will also be a teenage portrayal of Aladdin with his love interest Jasmine in the film. Kabir Berry will play Aladdin, while Isa Azar will portray Jasmine. Kabir has been featured in films like Blue Bloods and Squatting, and Descendants 4 could be a massive feature for him. Isa's first acting experience could be with Descendants 4. However, the love story of Jasmine and Aladdin is inspiring. Through the magic lamp Aladdin will find, he will create the life he has always wanted, and he will grow up to be handsome, and on his first sighting of the Sultan's daughter Jasmine, he will be determined to make her his true love. All of this and more will be explored in Descendants 4, making Merlin Academy an interesting school, even though the villains would try to tear it apart. So, what do you think about the new cast of Descendants 4? Share your thoughts in the comments and thanks for watching.